Hi there and welcome back to the Pen and Ink Well for another video today. I'm going to be doing a review today on another, I would say a starter pen, but this actually is, I think it's been aimed somewhere else, not necessarily for the same market as some of the other starter pens that I've previously looked at. I was contacted by my colleague Ian Headley who had been in conversation with the Pen Chalet, so thank you very much to the Pen Chalet for sending this pen over for review. It's going to be featured on the United Inkton website, so it's doing its rounds. So what I'm talking about today is the pen that's inside this box, which is the Pelican Stola 3. This is the third edition of this pen. You can still get, in the UK anyway, you can still get number one, two, and now three, where they've slightly amended them as they've gone along. And this pen is, I would say, say it's, it's a starter pen because it's in that sort of price bracket. Here in the UK, this retails at, at about 19.95, so it's about a £20 pen. Um, in the US, it's around about sort of you know, mid $30 sort of price mark. So it is that sort of starter pen bracket, but when you see it as I open it up now, you'll see that it's aimed slightly differently, I think, than the other pens like the Lamy Safari that I've had to look at before, and maybe the Pilot um, MR or the Metropolitan as it's called in the US. This side of the pond, it's called, come, it came out as the Pilot MR. Um, round about similar price brackets, but I sort of find that those can be sort of seen as being, particularly the Safari, can be sort of seen as being aimed more towards children, teenagers, despite the fact that it's got an enormous following for the Pelican, um, the Lamy Safari. But because of the sort of the typical grip section, it's a love it or hate it type of pen and the colours that it sort of comes in. With this one, I think they've decided to look at the market of trying to start getting the average businessman or businesswoman into fountain pens and be able to be seen to be using fountain pens at work. And it has a very um, functional, quite a... Um, I can't think of the word that I'm looking for off the top of my lips, but you know, it, it's a smart pen. It's a smart looking pen that's not going to sort of turn any heads or catch any eyes, but it looks good with a notepad and it's a, in a business type setting, particularly when you're looking at laptops and the sort of how, you know, the Apple sort of me, uh, metallic look. It has that feel about it, straight lines and so on. So, I'm going to stop talking about this now and let you have a look at it. Um, so I'm going to turn the camera around, we'll have a quick look at this Pelican Stola 3 and I'll see you in just two seconds. Right, welcome back and let's have a look at this in a little more detail. So this is the Pelican Stola 3 and this is how it arrives and this is the packaging. So this is a simple sort of white box with a Pelican logo here. Pelican company details on the bottom here and then product information at the one end. So if we open this up, put that sleeve aside, we then find a really nice silver box on the inside of here that I think is particularly attractive for a sort of lower price point pen. If you open that up, you see it's, it's just a cardboard box that's sort of covered in this sort of silver wrap really, or grey slaty silver wrap. This is just to say this is just cards on the top here. And then we have the Pelican pen in here. I think you could probably use this to carry a couple of pens. If you're sort of starting out, you could put a couple of pens in here and put them in your bag or in your briefcase and sort of keep it safe. So I'm gonna put that aside for now. So this is the Pelican Stoller 3. You'll see here, as I was sort of referring, it's a very simplistic sort of style. It's very stylish. Um, I think it's sort of it's quite corporate. That's the word I was looking for earlier. It's corporate in its look. I particularly like the clip. Um, it makes it look to me. It looks a bit like somebody's wearing a tie or got a, it's got a tie around its neck with this sort of shape here. But it is a very good strong clip. So a pelican written around the middle here, with a pelican logo at the end, and then black at the other end here. Dimensions, this is 134 millimetres as you're looking at it now, 116 millimetres without the cap on. 
um, and this pen doesn't post I'll show you that in a moment weight wise it's 31 grams as it is and it's 20 grams without the cap so a third of the weight sitting in the cap here but just give you an idea of sort of size comparisons I haven't got a safari next to it but I do have an all-star so it is you know probably maybe three millimeters shorter than the all-star but it's heavier than the all-star as well though I would say so let's have a look and let's take this off right material wise this is a lacquer that sort of covers this pen this silver lacquer and it's very slippery very shiny and then you've got this plastic grip section again which is very slippery so to me that's a bit of an issue because this pen if you sort of you know if you maybe you've got any sort of form of lotion on your hand or you've been using it for a while this does start getting a little slippy it for me it's a nice size pen you know it's a sort of perfect sort of size pen for me I'm sort of happy with that sort of size as I said you can put the cap on but it does that straight away because inside the cap there's this extra sort of seal that does this makes this airtight clip here but because of that it means that it doesn't stay on the end of the pen so we've got nib wise a steel pelican medium nib quite an attractive nib so if we can get in close there you can see it's quite an attractive sort of pattern on this nib it's got the pelican logo there but it only comes in a medium that's the only option available to order and I think I suppose really when you're looking at starting out to depend they tend to be offered with limited nib options that is the difference with things like the Lamy Safari where you have the swappable nibs that you could sort of interchange in there so if you don't want a medium nib and you're trying to sort of find what it is that you like in a pen then that gives it that you know you've got that option with the Safari um, but it's, this is only a medium nib um, as far as sort of it tapers down slightly to the end here as if you tapered this a little bit further you'd be able to get the cap on but the grip section here tapers down and then bulbs out just here so your fingers are not slipping onto that nib I move my fingers out of the way because I do get comments that you can't see the nib with my nails in the way from my experience very sort of standard medium nib pen so let me just do a writing sample for you very briefly so you can see how this operates as you'll see here when you start writing with this pen I've started finding it writes quite wet that's laying down a lot of ink right now It did take me a long time to get the pen going out of the box. I put just an international, so what I've got in here actually is just a, this is a Visconti Blue cartridge. Just a standard small cartridge. So the good thing about this, rather than maybe the Lamy Safari or the um, Pilot MR is that this standard international cartridges so you could use anything in there from Pelican's own small cartridges their large cartridges the Edelstein cartridges or any other sort of um, international cartridge will work in here but it did take me a long time to get the ink flowing through but I do find that when I'm using cartridges because you haven't drawn the ink up through the pen and through the feed it takes a while to get it going the other way so this is for Sconti Blue as I say and this is a medium nib I haven't had though any issues with this nib it's a very very smooth writing nib it's a very nice writing experience I would say um, as far as sort of starter pens are concerned um, to me I am a fan of the Safari I do like the grip on there I do like the range of the colors so you can have a starter pen and you can tailor it to the way you want from sort of you know a, a plain black one if you want to or a color if you choose for me I like the fact that they are 
aiming it, well, I believe they are aiming it to a, a different market, to a more corporate market, you know, because it isn't something that I feel has really sort of been done. And I think really, as was Pelican itself is, their pens are more sort of um, corporate looking and uh, quite stylish sort of pens. Um, for the price point, I think the nib is wonderful and you won't go wrong with it. Um, if it was me, I would probably, if they were revamping this, I would probably maybe change this lacquer to something that's a bit more matte in feeling so it's not quite so slippery. I like the size of it. I like the feel of it. I like the nib and I'm not a fan of medium nibs at all, but I do like the nib. It does write very nicely and it's a very functional, was the word my husband used earlier on, looking and writing pen. Any questions, please do drop me a line or feel free to ask and I will see you all again very, very soon. So we've had a look at the Pelican Stola. If you like it, then I'm going to post a link down below to um, some websites where you can order that and to the Pen Chalet to take a look around their website there in America. Um, and then I'll also post a website where you can get the purchase that pen here in the UK. But also below, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll also put the details where you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Inkwell Pens. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time on the Pen and Inkwell.